What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Chevy released the configurator with the pricing tool for the convertible on their website for the 2020 C8 Corvette. And I just had to get in here again and I did it for the coupe and now I really gotta do it for the convertible. I gotta figure out what this thing is priced at, what the options are, and I wanna figure out how expensive can you get one of these things. Uh, I priced the coupe at a little over $101,000. The convertible, I think it's gonna be a little bit more. Uh, it's got more options and of course a higher base price. So let's get in and see how expensive we can make the 2020 C8 convertible. All right guys, here we are on Chevy's website. Uh, when you click on upcoming, then there'll be 2020 Corvette. So you're gonna click right there. And then uh, look, run one Motor Trend car of the year. Then we're gonna click on build and price. And now you have the availability to select convertible. So, and notice the base price, 67,495. Still incredible deal, guys. Um, so we're gonna go down and we're trying to pick out the most expensive one. So we're gonna click on the 3LT trim package. And then next step, colors. Uh, we're gonna go down to the colors that cost a little extra. So there's Accelerate Yellow, Rapid Blue, which looks awesome. Uh, then uh, Long Beach Red is $9.95, but we're gonna go a little crazy. We're gonna go with Sebring Orange Tint Coat at $9.95. We're gonna add the stripes just cause. Uh, I wouldn't do that personally, but it's $9.95 and we're trying to spec this thing to the max. Uh, there's lots of different interior colors to choose from. Uh, it's kinda hard to tell which one's actually gonna be the priciest. Again, this is a situation where it's not what I would pick but the most expensive combination is the Adrenaline Red two-tone right here. Uh, so Adrenaline Red two-tone on Sebring Orange, maybe not the best combination, but it is the most expensive. So we're also gonna add the Z51 package. Uh, then we're gonna go to the exterior options. Uh, we're going to add the most expensive wheel option there is, which is $14.95. There's two options, either silver or gray. We're gonna pick gray just cause. Battery protection package, why not? Uh, the magnetic selective ride control, of course. We got to put the lift on there at $14.95. Uh, brake calipers, we're going crazy. So let's put yellow on there for, for no reason at all. Uh, again, not what I would spec, but <laughs> it's all about it. I'm going to add the 20-inch uh, the black Trident wheels uh, and the center caps. They would come as an extra set of wheels, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, we're going to go with the Jake logo center caps just because... Um, with the wheel locks, you can choose the black wheel locks and the uh, lug nuts in black for extra. We're going to put hash marks on there on the fenders. Again, I wouldn't do that personally, but it is what it is on this video. We're going to go with the silver hash marks. Why not? Um, here's where it gets a little interesting, the nacelles. We were wondering what those were going to cost, the painted nacelles. And it looks like they're about $12.95. And there's a couple of options. You can either get all black or you can get the black nacelles and the body color roof. I think the body color roof and the black nacelles looks weird. So we're just gonna go with the all black nacelles and roof. We're gonna go with a black high wing spoiler because uh, you can't get an orange colored one. We have to throw on the body ground effects kit because that's the most expensive option and it looks awesome. Uh, can't do the rockers, but we can do the splash guards. We're gonna add the splash guards. Uh, we're gonna add all the accessories on this thing. So even the uh, rear fascia protector, we're gonna throw it in there. Um, chrome exterior package wouldn't make sense, but it's a hundred bucks, so we're throwing it on. So now we get the exterior accents. It, it comes with carbon flash, which is almost a black. There's a couple options. You can get a body color, but notice the body color puts those those weird rear vents in the body color. So we're gonna go with shadow gray, 995. Um, again, the carbon flash is standard though. Visible carbon fiber grill insert in the front for 2095. You can barely see it on this configurator, but it's sort of there. Uh, carbon flash outside mirrors for hundred bucks, which I think is a great value. But then we're also gonna add the carbon fiber mirror covers. So you have the carbon flash painted and the carbon fiber covers, but why not? Uh, we're gonna add a car cover because we're going crazy. Let's do the red car cover. It makes no sense, but let's do it. The museum de delivery, you might wanna do it, but you actually can't configure it that way because of the accessories that are coming with it, the wheels and the rear fascia cover and such. So now we're gonna to go to the interior. Uh, we're gonna click on the competition sport seats because that increases the price. Uh, but now we can also add a few other things. We're gonna add the orange uh, seat belts. Gotta remove black, just a confirmation there. And then we are gonna go down to uh, 
let's see what other options we have on the interior. Um, if I do two-tone seats, but I can't do two-tone seats in the GT, unless I go to GT2. Um, same with the uh, stitching, because it's already included in the, in the two-tone package I selected earlier. Carbon fiber interior trim, that's around the dash. We're gonna select that. Uh, personalized interior plaque. The suede microfiber steering wheel comes with that package as, as well. Um, cargo organizer, why not? Premium travel bags, why not? First aid kit, throw it in there. Uh, the safety kit, put it on there. And look what just happened with this price. $113,200. Uh, absolutely incredible but the car looks insane of course in this spec it's a, it's really wild notice those stripes even with the dark color in the cells the stripes actually are kind of a grayish silver color over those black the black roof which is kind of cool actually I, I really like the attention to detail there um, you can also add these accessories here they don't change the price I don't really know why but $110 in dealer installed accessories I guess they'll just throw it on an addendum uh, when you buy the car. This is what the interior looks like. Again, looks really silly with the orange belts. Uh, here's all the options you can review on the summary page that we selected. Um, so again, $113,200 for this crazy spec of a C8 convertible. $113,000. Remember guys, this is a base C8 not a Z06 or a ZR1, uh, that's crazy. Now I know it's a convertible and if you look at uh, the big picture, it's definitely a better deal than many other cars that cost much more than that. But we're talking about nearly $50,000 in options on this car over the base price. Absolutely ridiculous. So as I said in the coupe video, if this is a car that's gonna last you forever, this is your dream car, go for it. Get all the options you want. If this is a car you're gonna keep for a few years and then sell it, maybe don't spend $50,000 on options um, because you're not even gonna close gonna be able to get that back. Uh, so only get the options you think you really have to have and need during your time owning this Corvette uh, because the fewer options you get, the better resale value you're gonna get by percentage because uh, the options are not gonna carry as much weight. So, but I, I'm still extremely excited about this new car, extremely excited about the convertible. I mean, this thing's got this hard top, this retractable hard top is just uh, incredible, takes this whole car to another level. You look at it with the uh, two-tone uh, roof and all the body lines, it looks, it looks so much like uh, maybe a McLaren 720 with the hard top convertible. Uh, and that thing's 300, $350,000. Um, so this even being priced at $100,000 is a great deal, let alone that you can get it based for only $68,000. So absolutely incredible deal. I'm really hoping that I'll get one, but I, I'm still a little holding out for that Z06 for 2021. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm going to get myself a C8 one way or another, whether it be a 2020 base for a 2021 Z06. So if you like this video, give me a like, hit subscribe, and feel free to share this video wherever you'd like. And until next time, adios.